have here. three different islands that we put uh, primates on every summer. And which animals go on which islands kind of depends on a couple different things. First of all, the size of the island. So our smallest island over here has a pair of Joffrey's tamarins on it. Uh, this island over here has a trio of Mueller's gibbons and it's good for them because it has a lot more arboreal structures and the ropes there on it. And then on the big island, we try to get the biggest social group that we can find um, that our keepers can work with on a daily basis. And on, on there we have a group of ringtail lemurs and blue-eyed black lemurs. So when we pick an animal for the island, we have to consider a couple things. The first is we have to make sure that it's not able to swim, so it doesn't swim off, because obviously they wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to contain them out here. The second thing we want to do is get a, a species that's the right size for the island. We don't want it to make it so small that we'd never see it, or so big that the space isn't big enough for them to be able to perform their behaviors. And then the third thing is that we want to make sure that it's a, a species that our keepers can work it safely. Gibbons and Siamangs are considered apes. Sometimes they're called lesser apes, and that really just means that they're smaller. These guys run in the range of 20 to 30 pounds, um, and they're apes, they don't have tails, um, and these guys spend a lot of time brachiating, which is kind of doing a hand, hand uh, motion through the trees. Um, so these ropes allow those animals to, to do that. These guys are actually really agile as well. They can actually walk like a tightrope walker, and they can run across the tops of the ropes. So we tend to feed them early in the morning, uh, just, just as the park opens around 10 a.m. Um, and that's actually when they'll do some of their, these guys will actually do some of their singing, so they're calling, so you can hear them vocalize early in the morning. And then they get active in the afternoon again after they've, um, they're starting to get hungry, so um, any time between then 2 and 4 p.m. in the evening. Claire's actually rolling onto the island to service the island, so she'll bring a little bit of food. Um, she may um, clean up the island a little bit. She wants them to get close so she can take a good look at them, make sure that everybody's healthy, but she doesn't necessarily want them in the boat with her. So for something smaller, like a lemur or a tamarin, then we're actually able to occupy that same space. So Claire can go out and she'll actually get the animals even closer to her because that's safer. So she'll bring food um, and sometimes um, she might even actually hand feed it to the animals or put it in a space where they can get up really close to her so she can get a really good look at them. So I do the lake first thing in the morning uh, before the public gets here. Primates, uh, they like to eat first thing in the morning. That's they're up early, they're up with the, the sun, and they're starting to forage around, so I like to get out here and feed them. Then around three, I like to come back out here and give them a, a snack. And that's usually when you'll find the lemurs. They have a little spot there on the island that the sun hits, and they love to bask in the sun. So around two to uh, four or so, that's when you'll be able to find them because the sun's in just the right spot. Their favorite tree spot is like right on this big old dead looking tree here. What do they eat? Uh, we've got, um, we get some banana, some apple, carrots, sweet potato, broccoli, greens. In, uh, we feed them in here so that they are used to being in here. So when it comes time to bring them in in the fall, it's a very stress-free move. When, do you, when are they first put out? Uh, as soon as the nights uh, are warm, uh, we can't have these guys out because they uh, are used to the warm temperatures up at PNC. So uh, the nights stick at 50 to 60 degrees is when we'll start bringing them out. Is this your favorite part of your job? Yes. I love this. The morning because it's so nice and peaceful. It's very the sun and just being out here and these guys are so nice. Mm -hmm.